Have you ever lived out a dream? I got to 30 years ago when I graduated from Emory University, got to work at the Atlanta Olympics, and turned 21 during the opening ceremonies. Well, fast forward to today, the Summer Olympics are in Paris, and I wanted to give my own kids their own Olympic memories. That's right, both of my kids recently graduated high school, and I thought, what better time to make moments at this one-of-a-kind opportunity. So come with me as I take you to Paris to not only show you what makes these Olympic Games so special, but what it's like to have a once in a lifetime trip. Welcome to the 33rd Olympic Games. I'm going to be taking you all around Paris and I'm starting off right here at the iconic Stade Roland Garros. That's right, it's the home of the French Open, but it's also where the tennis is being played this year's Olympic Games. It's even more special because my family is with me. Can't wait to go check it out. Coming to the Olympics in Paris is a dream for so many reasons, but most of all, because the tennis is being played right here at Roland Garros. That's right, for tennis fans everywhere, not only is this the home of one of the most iconic Grand Slams, but now it's home to the Olympic Games as well. Our world can feel pretty divided today, but sport has an incredible way of bringing us all together. As you can see by all the nations represented by the flags around me, this is where people come to not only cheer on their athletes, but athletes from all over the world. One of the incredible things Paris has done with this Olympic Games is that they're using stadiums and facilities that are either already in use or right part of the city. For example, you can see state skateboarding at the Place de la Concorde. You've got tennis here at Roland Garros. Everything is right in the action of Paris. And so not only are you seeing these incredible athletes compete, you're getting to experience history, being surrounded by these incredible monuments. One of the amazing things I've overheard from so many in attendance is that they don't really care what sport they see or who they're watching, they're just happy to be here. But the great thing about the Olympics is that there's always something incredible going on. For instance, we're getting to see Novak Djokovic play Stefano Tsitsipas in the men's quarterfinals tonight. Iga Swiatek is on court right now. Normally you'd have to go to a Grand Slam to see caliber tennis like this, and we're getting it all here in one day. The Eiffel Tower is already one of the most iconic landmarks of Paris, but during this year's Olympic Games, it's even more so. Not only is everyone here in Paris to see this amazing architecture, but it's also home to beach volleyball, and you can see so many of the other venues from the top. This is a can't miss whether you're here for the Olympics or not. Over my shoulder, you'll see the Seine River. This was the first Olympics where the Olympians arrived to the opening ceremony by boat instead of marching in a stadium. One of my favorite ways to see some of the most iconic sights of Paris is to take one of the boat rides on the Seine, the Bateau Mouche, Bateau Parisien. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you get on the top level so you can have 360 view pictures as you go by. I've mentioned how the Olympics are taking place all over the city. Right over my shoulder, they're doing medal ceremonies at the Place de Trocadero. We just saw cyclists ride by for the triathlon. So literally anywhere you go, you're going to get to experience the Olympics. I got to meet up with one of my longtime friends, Dusty, at one of the hospitality areas here in Paris, Clubhouse 24. It's actually set up in a museum, and it offers a bit of an Olympic museum. We got to see the posters from past Olympics, how the athletes sleep, and also what they do in the athletes' village during their downtime. We even got temporary tattoos. There's also a bunch of different restaurants you can choose to eat at. So even when you're not sitting and enjoying the games, there's so much to do outside of the actual events. One of the unique things about the Olympic Village is that all of the athletes bed are actually made out of cardboard, but then they get customizable mattresses. So they have the choice of moderate all the way to soft. And what's really interesting is that this is all sustainable. So these are all gonna be used after the Olympics are over. I know we came here for the Olympics, but how could a Disney-loving family come to France and not plan a day at Disneyland Paris? That's exactly what we did, and it was so easy. It's only about an hour east of the city, and we took the train. It dropped us off literally at the entrance of the park. Now, there's two parks, Disneyland Park, and you also have the Walt Disney Studios, and it's very walkable. In fact, we did both parks in one day. Now, what stood out to us? A few things. The weather is incomparable. Here we are in August. People are in sweaters. It's very temperate. It's been beautiful. Of course, we're in France, so the food is excellent. There's a ton of choices, and everything has been delicious. We've also really enjoyed the rides. Incredible roller coasters, and you'll see some things that are the same from park to park, like at Walt Disney World or at Disneyland in California. 
but the theming is really unique and we've noticed a mix of both French and English. So I would definitely plan a day. Come out, you're gonna find great souvenirs, fun pin trading, and of course, everything that a Mickey lover could ask for. It's been an incredible time here in Paris from the Olympic competition to the incredible sights and of course the food. It's been a dream trip, especially because I've been able to do it with my kids. You know, part of me is like, did we do enough? Did we see it all? Of course, there's not enough time to do everything, but I just thought I'd embrace the iconic Paris phrase, c'est la vie, such is life. In Paris, we will return. Au revoir.